Listen to this. This is so cool. And then I pitch up the chords and pitch up the vocal. Ah, I love to add acoustic things. What is up guys? My name is Vorius and I'm so glad to be back on YouTube. I've missed all of you and I, <laughs> I hope you missed me too. I have something really, really interesting to show you. I have a new track that's coming up on 28th of December and it's a completely new genre for me. I wrote it myself, just like my other tracks. I'd still consider it to be an EDM track, but it's more pop funky-ish. And I really wanted to include you guys in this release. So I've launched a competition where you can win a pair of Genelik speakers. Those are the top standard speakers. Just jump into my Instagram, follow me, and you'll see how the competition works. Before we start, I just wanted to let you know about DistroKids Hyperfollow. It's a completely free promotional tool for anyone using DistroKid. Today, it's a must to have one link that leads to your music on all streaming services. The instant you finish uploading a DistroKid, you can start marketing and release and collecting pre saves on Spotify with Hyperfollow. The Hyperfollow page can be customized to include your social media pages, videos. As soon as your release goes live, the Hyperfollow page will automatically update to include the links to your streaming services and stores. Your Hyperfollow link never changes and you will never have to update your marketing or social media posts. This is a simple tool that I believe all artists should use. So this track actually comes from a voice memo which I made a long 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 time ago most of these are just crap some of them end up as final tracks just like this one. Oh, here we have it the 5th of March I sang this I took the chords from the voice memo and dropped them in as MIDI. Here's how they sound. And you may have noticed that the pad isn't fully soft. It actually has this kind of pluck sound in the very beginning. You just go into this mod envelope box, add a cutoff AB. This allows you to control the cutoff. First you increase the decay, which is basically how fast the cutoff knob will increase. Then you increase the sustain, which deals with what level the cutoff knob will return to once it has peaked. And you get this. And then I also added this uh, snare roll. And I also have a tiny, tiny amount of swing. It's barely noticeable, but it makes the track a lot more human. Because the last thing you want is a track that is super steady on every beat. And to build the atmosphere even more, we also have a choir. Super cool sound. It's from Labs, so it's free, you can get it. It sounds like this. I mean, you just want to start meditating. Ah, it's dope. And I also decided to sidechain the choir. We also have an arc going on. It's such a slow track, so to prevent the user from sleeping, we have to add these natural rhythm instruments. And finally, what all of you have been waiting for, the vocals. Messing with my head, I can't sleep. When people have to fight for the right to be. So last thing before we go to the bridge is my golden rule for producing music. Whenever you pass four beats, one, two, three, four, before you enter the next four beats, you should add something new. Hey Boris, you did not add something new in this verse. And that's right, because I didn't show it. 
Here's what I added. This is how it sounds. So let's keep the track interesting. So, for the bridge, we had to add something new. Pretty simple pop beat. We kept the pad, but gave it another rhythm. So it goes like this. Aren't we missing something? That's right, the golden rule. So halfway through the bridge, we add this clap. Super simple, but it keeps the whole bridge alive. Second thing I added was to make the choir go crazy. And now the most important thing of all, a big fat bass. This mother trucker sounds like this. It's a combination of a sub bass and a uh, distorted, I call it grit bass, which is really wide. And the bass is sidechained. And combined with the drums, And then we have the vocals. How we raise money for a forest that burns. But don't hesitate to spend when the tree turns. And to make the vocals much more distinct, I added a dub vocal without the stereo enhancer. Money for a forest that burns. Stereo enhancer! But don't hesitate to spend when the tree turns. And to make it even more interesting, I recall it once again, the golden rule. Took the chords, lowered them by two semitones. And just sang it. And the same thing here. Listen to this, this is so cool. And then I pitch up the chords and pitch up the vocal. So it sounds like a girl. Although it isn't a girl. And drowned it in reverb. Which made the whole vocal composition sound like this. When did we care about a million creatures lives? I mean our food is only killing twice. So the vocal just so that's the bridge. If you just were to compare the bridge and then the drop right afterwards, they wouldn't differ that much in energy. But by having a build up section between those, with most of the energy removed, the bridge are perceived as having a lot of energy and the drop are perceived as having a lot of energy as well. So for the bridge, we just removed a lot of things piano and pad. In the end, we're only human lives. And we also have the same bass as we have on the drop, playing this rhythm. And just pumping you all the way through the drop. So the drop consists of two guitar solos. This is the first one, it's pretty basic. We added a clap. And a build snare. So oh, the drop, oof, now we get into the really cool stuff. It's basically the same drum pattern as we had on the bridge. And I've come to realize that the most essential part of a track is drums and bass. A grit bass. Combined with the contact. I mean, how can you not swing to it? The pluck is kept. Of 
chord pattern. I added a syncope. Is that how it's pronounced? Syncope. Syncope. <laughs> I'm just gonna go with that, and if I'm wrong, I look stupid on internet. Syncope. So basically what I added then was a syncope. The sort of definition of it is that you do something that's off the original rhythm. It sounds like this. <music> Hi-hats are pretty cool, because once the syncope kicks in, the hi-hats go crazy and pants everywhere. And of course the chords play the syncope as well. And we also added a vocal from the verse. When the tree comes. We remove the original guitar, you know this one. And add a new one. Ah, I love to add acoustic things. It makes the track a lot more alive. And that's basically it for the track. Here's the final result. A million creatures stars, I mean our food is only killing twice. But in the end we're only human lives. That wants to be loved and recognized. I promise we'll get there in time. If we just stop for the while, I am sorry. Where did we all go wrong?